हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू से वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस मिजो स्टडी वीडियो क्लास एंड इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम दिस हेडिंग दैट इज द फर्स्ट स्लाइड वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट अ डिस्कशन ऑफ नीट दैट इज मेडिकल इंट्रेंस एग्जाम पैटर्न एक्सरसाइज एंड दैट टू फ्रॉम अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड सिंपल चैप्टर सिंपल वाई एम सेंग just by learning two or three simple concepts and just few formula ensure that you are going to score four to eight marks one or two questions so in your entrance exam out of 45 physics questions if without any effort within 2 minutes you can attempt two questions correctly you can assume the importance or the weightage of those eight marks finally in your rank fine so don't consider this chapter useless if you want to score a good rank make your habit to pick even a single mark from each possible method fine here i am offering you 8 marks so you can imagine the situation so this chapter what i will do i will try my best to explain or revise all your concepts and formulae in this particular chapter so let's start this discussion with this approach and uh, one thing that is important over here in this chapter there are certain calculations and they are slightly long fine so just try to learn them okay just by some practice i hope you will be find uh, yourself in a very comfortable position here is your first question magnetic field in a plane em wave electromagnetic wave is given by b is equal to b not sin Uh, kz plus omega t i am just mentioning the standard equation okay so that you can visualize what exactly the standard or ideal equation is now you have to find the electric field students as we know that e b and c all are perpendicular to each other fine now if b is along y axis as given in the question obviously e cannot be along y axis okay e definitely will have to be either in z or x axis okay let's uh, start taking the look of inside terms <coughs> here the wave number is along z axis so obviously the possibility for e electric field is remaining 1 x fine it means a cannot be an option c cannot be an option only possibility is ex and ex this b and d this is not possible okay then try to find out which one is correct option b or d fine so what is the relation between electric field magnetic field and speed of the em wave that is speed of light so relation is this way e is equal to c not c not or c simply you can say speed of light so there is no point of putting not e not rather is equal to c b not okay so e not is equal to c c means let me allow to put the values 3 into 10 to the power 8 okay and what is the value of v not it is given in the problem 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 so what you will get you will get 3 to the 6 multiplied by 10 that is 60 volt per meter fine so now <coughs> one thing is crystal clear that a and c they are not possible and now b is also not possible why because the magnitude of electric field is 60 so itself the equation is saying that d is the correct option approach i explain logic also i explain so if you start uh, learning in this fashion for uh, physics obviously you will score good marks in physics and physics is the subject which for medical students ultimately decide whether you are going to become a doctor or not a doctor fine 
So, because of this reason, it is important uh, uh, subject. So, please do not take it lightly and do not take it very uh, in a very difficult manners also. Now, it comes to obtain a displacement current of 0.1 ampere between the plates of a capacitor of 0.1 microfarad, the rate of change of potential difference between the plates should be how much? Yes, if you are even unable to understand the problem, one thing you can say surely that in this particular question, we are just trying to emphasize our focus on the very first topic of this chapter. Try to recall, this chapter starts the discussion with the idea of displacement current and why Maxwell introduced this idea that has been explained over there. Actually, it was an Ampere's equation and rectified by Maxwell and because of this only, Maxwell's ultimately combined out of six, two forces. There are six forces in nature, basic fundamental forces and Maxwell combined these two forces that is electric force and magnetic. Now, scientists are working on a string theory, fine they are uh, in a process, I mean they are trying to combine all those forces. A string means by combining six forces they want to create a string, okay, strong string. Nobody knows what will be the future after that because just by combining these two forces, it is your miraculous uh, changes in the uh, approach of various experimental aspects. So, let me allow to mention it in a different fashion what exactly the situation. Displacement current ID is given as epsilon naught del phi E by dt. So, let me allow to write down the formula that is ID is equal to epsilon naught del phi E by dt. Okay. Phi is what? Electric flux. So, phi e is phi e is e a fine in uh, chapter 2 of a starting of electromagnetism electrodynamics you learned this now also also v is equal to e d okay so from here what i can say i can say e is equal to V by D. Fine. Now, replace the value of V by D in this particular relation that is phi E is equal to E A. So, let me allow to use this space. Fine. I explain what exactly we are trying to do. So, now from here I can write down I D is equal to epsilon naught del E, let me write down it like in this fashion, d by dt E A. Okay? In place of E, I can write down B by D. Okay? So, I D is equal to epsilon naught del by del T E that is V by D into A. Now, we will do some makeup of this particular equation and then I will get a very beautiful relation. What exactly the makeup? The makeup is take this uh, A and D out because A is the plate area which is constant and D is the plate spacing between the plates of the capacitor. So, that is also constant. Okay. So, this is epsilon naught A by D del V by del T. Now, as C is equal to epsilon naught A by D. So, what I can say? I can say I D is equal to that is uh, C into del V by del T. Fine. What exactly we are supposed to find? We are supposed to find the rate of change of potential difference that is del V by del T. Fine. So, what I will do? I will use this space just to mention this solution that is uh, del V by del T is equal to, take a look over here, you will find I D by C. 
so it is i d by c take the values out point 1 and c is point 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 so ultimately you will get the correct answer as 10 to the power 5 volt per second fine so this question is not a difficult one simply you have to put the values and you should know this relation that has been explained in the starting of this chapter so that's why i explained the idea and this way i explained you the formula so if this approach you are going to adapt during the preparation then inside the examination hall you will definitely enjoy the questions in physics more than the questions of geology botany or chemistry fine because there you will have to remember one beautiful aspect of physics is even if the concept is clear in your mind you can try the question but in geology botany either you know that or you do not know that fine digital terminology here it is analog approach so that is why it is more beautiful subject let us move on to the question number 3 now which waves are used for taking photograph of earth under foggy conditions from great heights actually this question i placed just for the sake of putting some uh, focus on to one diagram which is mentioned not only in your textbook but also some other supporting books that normally students follow to uh, adapt or learn various things in physics that is the electromagnetic wave spectrum fine starting from cosmic rays then gamma rays then x rays and so on then what are the properties means in terms of frequency means in terms of energy means in terms of utilization so this is something that is based upon the phenomena of that utilization my suggestion is to all of you uh, once in a while you should take the look of that particular diagram so by that method you can learn many things so here ultraviolet rays obviously you cannot use them for the photography during the foggy conditions visible rays not impossible even in foggy conditions you cannot watch anything then how the camera will fine normal camera will only record the fog and then microwaves and infrareds microwaves are normally used in our day to day life for cooking purposes for heating purposes fine because their wavelength is large so their energy is less IR sensing this term is normally associated with the uh, satellites remote sensing satellites IR photography fine so that is why this infrared photography is the correct option for this particular condition of taking photograph of earth under foggy conditions fine this is also the method by which you can eliminate wrong options and this is something that you can do only if you have the clear understanding of all the properties of these particular radiations fine here comes your question number four imagine the situation the rms value of electric field of light coming from the sun is 7 to 0 uh, newton per coulomb that is e rms is equal to 720 newton per coulomb fine what is the average total energy density of em waves my only point by picking this question is that you should at least few times practice the formulae of this chapter by writing if you are solving a problem fine and you are writing the formula few times then obviously you will find yourself in a very comfortable situation so this question is totally based upon that phenomena and what exactly the idea of this average total energy density fine so let's try to find out the solution ut that is total energy density is half epsilon naught e r m s square this is the formula which you are supposed to use fine imagine one more situation electric field coming out so average 
energy density means whatever is the reflection that you also have to consider. So basically ut is epsilon naught e rms square. Fine. Now you have to just put the values in this particular relation. So epsilon naught you know 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 and that ERMS is given as 7 to 0 whole square. Why in the starting of this video shoot I mentioned that in this particular chapter only two aspects are important. One is concepts just two or three and some formulae. Also important is calculation because if you do not have the practice what, what you will do? You will start multiplying 7 to 0 with 7 to 0 at least uh, 40 to 50 seconds that will take then you will have to multiply that resultant with 8.85 that will take some time and in between just by rushing if you committed even a single digit mistake you are going to land in a wrong place. So if you have good practice of calculating fast obviously you can get the answer very properly fine. So after solving after solving ut is equal to 4.58 into 10 to the power minus 6 joule per meter cube ok. So the question is simple obviously I am not going to solve it over here by multiplying by dividing ok. So I simply mentioned that yes you should up to some extent try to calculate correctly the values those are required for finding some essential and important results. Now before moving on to next problem I hope I should mention it I hope you will realize that yes for these type of chapters say for example one more chapter and that is magnetism and matter that chapter has also not lot of complicated calculations or something just few formulae and some amount of calculation and one or two questions also from that chapter fine. So this way it is like uh, you can ensure in totality that these simple simple chapters will give you very good marks ok. Let us come on to the problem number 5. In this problem without any calculation I will show you how you can first eliminate some wrong options and you can zero in on or near to the right option what should be the approach listen carefully an electromagnetic wave of frequency nu is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 6 hertz 3 megahertz passes from vacuum into a dielectric medium now if you just check your basics with this statement you will say movement this em wave will pass from vacuum to any dielectric medium then its velocity is bound to reduce simple fact that will definitely come in your mind ok. So if velocity is reduced and you know that frequency is the characteristic of the source so frequency will not change so ultimately lambda will have to change fine because velocity is changing why because it is now moving in a medium. So with permittivity epsilon is equal to 4 then out of these 4 which option is correct. So first point that should come in your mind frequency will remain fixed unchanged constant ok. So frequency remains unchanged this first statement may be possible that it is correct ok. So do not remove it hold on for this particular uh, statement hold on. Then comes B wavelength is double and frequency becomes half you know frequency will not change outrightly reject it ok. Now come on to the C wavelength is halved and frequency remains unchanged ok frequency remains unchanged so there is possibility ok. So let us hold on for this particular option then D wavelength and frequency both remains unchanged it is also not possible why frequency remains unchanged but there are three quantities that is nu is equal to c upon lambda and then 
न्यू इज इक्वल टू वी अपॉन लैमडा प्राइम बिकॉज दिस इज फिक्स दिस इज फिक्स सेम सो इफ वी इज चेंजिंग लैमडा विल हैव टू चेंज एंड वॉट दिस फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज सेइंग लैमडा इज अनचेंज सो दिस फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल सो अल्टीमेटली आई हैव टू यू कैन से पॉसिबल करेक्ट ऑप्शन वन इज ए एंड दर इज सी so we'll try to find out which one is the correct option what i will do i will say b and d now rejected so you have zero in close to the correct option okay let's try to find out so v is equal to v is the velocity of light in any medium that is c upon under root epsilon r mu r Fine. Now, from here, what I can write down? I can write down v is equal to c upon under root mu r. Sorry, epsilon r. Epsilon r. It is given. Fine. Now, put the value of epsilon r. So, three into ten to the power eight meter per second upon four in under root. So, it will give you two. So, it is. 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now i have velocity so easily i can find out lambda prime how let me allow to use this space that is nu is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 upon lambda and nu is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 lambda prime let's say this is equation number 1 let's say it is equation number 2 so we can say from from <coughs> from 1 and 2 what we can say that Uh, 3 into 10 to the power 8 upon lambda is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 upon lambda prime. So easily we can find the value of lambda prime in terms of lambda. Fine, and it is going to be half of that. So correct option is wavelength is half and frequency remains unchanged. Basically, lambda prime you will get it as uh, what that is. 50 meter fine so this question is not a very difficult one but yes if you just take a look of this particular expression this expression is required then some changes and then putting the values together so with this uh, we also learned a good technique of how you can try to reach close to the correct option fine now you need not to waste your time on wrong options which you already discarded on the basis of your understanding and concepts fine so this is the i think best way of putting your uh, knowledge in totality to get out the correct solution now with this we are free to move away from this question number 5 on to question number 6 and here it is your question number 6 yes i used the uh, this magnetic uh, field expression similar as i used in question number 1 because my idea is to show you something fine uh, it is not important what is the number ultimately uh, equation is by is equal to b not sin kx plus omega t okay in an electromagnetic wave the magnetic field is given by this expression what is the intensity of electromagnetic wave about means near about 6 10 5 4 2 or, or exactly they are trying to find out what exactly the intensity of electromagnetic wave so obviously the formula is required over here for the understanding fine and only then we will able to find out the correct option now let's try to find out what will be the uh, value of this intensity so let me allow to mention the formula over here intensity is 1 by 2 b not square upon mu not fine 
i is equal to half b naught square upon mu naught this is the general formula of intensity now what we will do we will put the values over here and try to solve it so now this formula is mentioned just below the question so that at any point of time you can revise it i is equal to 1 by 2 what is the value of b that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 so 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 whole square upon mu naught what is the value of mu naught mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 now if you solve it and uh, yes that c sorry that c is missing over here i is equal to half b naught square uh, me naught upon c that's why i am emphasizing that you should practice the formula by writing again and again fine just because of the habit my hand was trying to find out the value of speed of light okay so now it is in totality the final expression and if you solve it over here you will easily get the value as 2 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 14 upon sorry 3 also 3 into 10 to the power 8 that is also here upon uh, 2 into 4 into uh, 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 7. So, I is nearly equal to 5 watt per meter square. Fine. Now, again you will realize the importance of the calculation. See, 2 and 2 cancel. Then ultimately this 2 and 2 over here. Fine. And then this 3. So, you can say yes, some fast calculation methods you should learn. Otherwise, unnecessarily you will waste your 1 or 2 minute time onto this calculation and if in between that just because of the panic approach let us say you committed a simple mistake in calculation ultimately you are going to land in a wrong place and one negative question means some minus marks you are unable to score that four marks but you are also losing one mark from your correct question so that that negative approach is not a very uh, uh, this uh, useful approach so that is why let us do some sort of practice fine and the main emphasis of these questions that we are providing in Mizo study to you is not just merely numbers we are just focusing on to the quality not quantity here is your seventh question radiations of intensity 0.5 watt per meter square are striking a metal plate the pressure on the plate now for uh, students preparing for uh, you can say engineering entrance exam je and so on je means je advance up to some extent it is quite easy for them to understand because of the mathematics over here as such no mathematics is involved simple calculation is required but few of you from medical stream may think on this uh, line how light can put pressure although in this particular chapter we discussed about the pointing vector we discussed about the pressure offered by the light in two conditions one is that is <coughs> case one uh, not, uh, pressure p is equal to i by c case two is case two is p is equal to two sorry two i by c case 2 is 2i by c y because here reflection is taking place reflection okay so if reflection is taking place this is the formula now if it is mentioned in the problem good to use either one and if it is not mentioned in the prob uh, question suggestion is use reflection case because if a metal <coughs> surface obviously polished surface in general a smooth surface so if light is striking reflection will definitely take place if the surface is blurred if the surface is rough then it may possible that reflection is not taking place but it is specifically mentioned that metal plate 
so reflection will take place so what we will do just on the basis of this understanding we will use the for, uh, case number 2 formula that is 2 i by c <coughs> so let us take a look over here so pressure p is equal to 2 into 0.5 upon c that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now it is your turn to calculate it that is 5 to the 10.1 that is 1 by 3 1 by 3 means something like uh, point, uh, 0.1667 something like that and then 10 to the power minus 8 so obviously a is your correct option now option is simple <coughs> calculation is simple in this problem but <coughs> this concept whether we should use i by c or i should use 2 i by c may create some confusion that's why i mentioned that <coughs> in physics sometimes in between the lines so many things are hidden fine so that way you have to uh, follow this approach of uh, like uh, what exactly is mentioned and what exactly the meaning of that particular sentence just because of this is striking a metal i am considering reflection i hope you can understand why exactly it is important then students it comes question number eight now what exactly this problem is frequency is higher than 10 megahertz that is 1 into 10 to the power 7 hertz were found not being reflected by ionosphere not reflected means absorbed allowed on a particular day at a particular place this is very important particular day it's not like sunday or monday but particular day and place what is the meaning of these two terms particular day means let's say on that particular day let's say density or humidity or light or something like that sunlight and place means uh, just above various places on the earth surface fine in antarctic the ozone layer formation is something different at equator something different at a place where lot of pollution is there something different so all these parameters are important fine the maximum electron density of ionosphere on that day was near how much purely a formula is required for understanding of this particular concept fine so electron density formula which is used over here slightly different question okay few of you may say sir this is something that we not learned in this chapter you learn in this chapter why because during the discussion of various uh, uh, these radiations gamma rays alpha rays and so on sorry uh, these uh, uh, gamma rays x rays alpha and beta are not that uh, radiation they are the particles you have studied these specific properties fine so now you should know 1 into 10 to the power 7 hertz comes in which category fine and this is something you can judge only if you have the fair understanding or you can say you can recall these properties there are seven eight people and you should know basic basic characteristics of all these people starting from cosmic rays gamma rays x rays then your uh, uh, ultraviolet then your visible part then your infrared then your microwaves and so on so forth radio waves long waves fine we discussed very deeply very properly with various properties frequency range in our videos if regularly you are watching definitely you will get benefit from that so over here let me mention the formula that is mu c is equal to 9 under root n max this is the formula maybe it may be mentioned with some different expression in other books but this is in general the formula so what you should do with this formula n max is equal to upon 9 9 ja 81 fine no problem simply multiply it so n max is equal to 
वन इंटू टेन टू दावर सेवन स्क्वायर दैट विल गिव यू वन इंटू टेन टू दावर फोर्टीन अपॉन एट्टी वन फाइन सो बाई दिस यू कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू एंड ये that c term is also here fine that c term is also here so exactly if you divide 1 by 81 sorry 81 so somewhere you will get uh, point 0 again 0 0 so one time fine and this way if you calculate the answer will be somewhere 1.24 okay because if assume it as 880 rather than 81 then easily you can calculate it so answer is somewhere going to be 1.24 with the 80 it will be like 1.25 fine and this is something yes you can learn it just by practice you can say you may have solved this problem and now you are showing that you know lot of things it is just by practice you can do like these things fine so the correct answer is going to be your b 1.24 into 10 to the power 12 per meter cube yes some extent you may say we are not very much familiar with the, this person that's why i am requesting make your friends various friends from this chapter and they will definitely make your preparation very simple the more you will make friendship with these terms the more marks you will score simple concept So now it comes question number nine. What is the order of energy of X rays? E X, E R, radio waves and micro waves. Fine. Now, from where we are picking this question? Once again, that same electromagnetic spectrum. Because in electromagnetic spectrum, if you have the clarity of you can say frequency that is associated with different different uh, radiations you will definitely find out that uh, frequency of x rays is very high just below the cosmic rays so they have maximum energy okay it means c and d anyway not possible what they are saying they are saying em is more than er and so on em is something like that okay so what about the radio waves then what about the microwaves so my suggestion is correct option is not a problem but my suggestion is revise and this is going to be very useful in totality revise em spectrum obviously on the basis of variation of lambda and nu these two terms fine and uh, you can handle either this question or question number i think it was 3 which was associated with the infrared camera sensing with remote sensing satellites so all these questions you can answer using this type of concept fine so accordingly now here we would like to move uh, okay you may ask which one is the correct option so b is the correct option accordingly fine <coughs> then comes your next question that is question number 10 which of the following set belongs to em waves once again the same concept of frequency variation or wavelength variation alpha rays they are particles bit basically alpha particles means twice he4 so they are not part of the electromagnetic spectrum sound wave sound wave means mechanical longitudinal waves so they cannot be the part of em waves em waves are not mechanical waves beta rays electrons not possible sound waves once again mechanical longitudinal waves cosmic rays yes they are from this em waves but with cosmic rays just because of their friendship with mechanical longitudinal waves it also loses its charm or its beauty so it is also not correct option x rays yes just after cosmic rays x rays so finally light waves visible part that's why i mentioned cosmic rays then uh, your in uh, ga ga this uh, gamma rays then x rays then uh, ultraviolet then visible then infrared then radio waves then long waves then microwave so on so forth 
fine there are eight or nine type of radiations so please keep revising this way so here it is your d is the correct option so finally students uh, i would like to say that we should take a stop over here very soon in future we will come back with more number of good questions from these topics fine and uh, just by revising these questions and the way i explain keep focusing on two core areas of concepts and calculations definitely you will enjoy this topic so with this positive note i would like to say thanks to all of you for watching this video take care of yourself thank you